This is probably the least expected thing I ever heard because the Try Guys are so unproblematic and have been seen as these angels of the YouTube community since their BuzzFeed days. It's literally the reason they're able to leave BuzzFeed and create this world of their own outside of it because they were so beloved. And now fans are heartbroken over rumors that they might be losing a member of the Try Guys due to some insane drama within their office. So to break it down, for you guys, the Try Guys are four guys, Keith, Ned, Zach, and Eugene. The group was formed at the company BuzzFeed in 2014. In 2018, the Try Guys announced that they had left BuzzFeed and started their own independent production company. Over the years, the Try Guys have created a ton of spin-off series. They post them all on their YouTube channel, things from fatherhood videos, DIY videos, relationship segments, podcasts, recipe testing videos, taste testing videos. There is a whole list of things that they have done on YouTube. And I believe they even have a show on the Food Network right now. Each one of these guys has always had their own thing. Ned has always integrated his wife, Ariel, into the Try Guys videos. He's always been known as the I love my wife guy. My wife. 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 Him and Ariel have talked about the relationship, journey to parenthood. They've done tons of videos redoing their home and designing the Try Guy office on the channel. Anna's wife is also a part of a podcast on the Try Guys podcast channel, along with other partners of the Try Guys. Maggie, Becky, and Ariel called You Can Sit With Us. Maggie is engaged to Zach and Becky is married to Keith. Now let's talk about what the heck is going on, right? So I first saw Keemstar tweet this out and anytime Keemstar tweets something, you got to take it with a grain of salt, right? But it said online rumors, Try Guys are breaking up due to one of them allegedly cheating on their wife. And I said, what? You got me so messed up right now. Like there's just no freaking way. Then I was tagged in some TikToks revolving this and I was shocked, you guys, shocked. Now, I'm not sure how true it all is. I'm going to say that many a times. But one thing I will say is that the Try Guys are not doing a good job at keeping a story under wraps and people from being curious. That is for sure. If they are trying to cover something up, they are in fact actually leaving fans more confused, seeking out more answers. So what I'm about to say is all right now, just people speculating based on what's come out, things that they've seen, the Try Guys post, and just what people are feeling about. About all of this. But I'm gonna say, if there is nothing going on at all between the Try Guys, they need to just speak up and say, hey guys, nothing's going on. But people are wondering why their edits in their recent videos have been so sketchy lately. And if something is going on, then they need to just not weirdly edit their videos and just try either taking a break or come out with a statement saying, hey guys, something's going on and things are just gonna look a little weird lately. But them not addressing things at all is very weird to people. It's definitely drawing more attention to speculation surrounding one of the members leaving the Try Guys, and people want answers. So people started noticing that Ned was seemingly being edited out of recent Try Guy videos. They posted three videos in the last couple weeks, and people have noticed that he was very much not in them. In their recent video titled Try Guys Try Stand Up, there's several clips that seem super zoomed in on Zach, Keith, and Eugene. People commented saying, why was Ned cropped out of this episode? Like, why is it so zoomed in, if not to edit Ned out? This is edited weird. Based on this post from their Instagram, Ned is wearing this patterned shirt. And in the stand up video, you can see him in the same shirt sitting there in the background. But this is like the only time that you can tell he was there when they were filming this. And he's not in any other parts of the video at all. So everyone wants to know why. Now there's also another video in question that they recently posted. And it is the second episode to the Try Guys new series called Phoning In. Ned was featured in the first episode as a judge along with two special guest judges. But in the recent episode, it looks like Ned was once again supposed to sit in between two guest judges, but he was sneakily cut out. At first I thought nothing of it, but someone caught this mistake in editing and noticed that they seem to have edited these two judges to sit next to each other when in reality, Ned was apparently sitting in between them. People believe that they can actually see a sleeve right here next to her in part of the video. 
But when you see the shot of the two judges, there's no one sitting in the middle. So whose shirt is that? Into, oh my gosh. People very much believe it was Ned. And then there's this video. Keith eats everything at a Vegas buffet. The Try Guys went to Vegas back in July and they ate at this massive buffet. Keith was reviewing everything and every now and again, an employee from the Try Guys would get in the video and eat a little bit of the food with Keith. People noted that Ned was on this trip and he was also there when they were filming this. So people felt like there was actually a whole other section of food to be eaten, but it was cut out because Ned was in that footage since he was there the day they were filming it. They also felt like Alex from Food Babies was also cut out of the video and we're gonna get into why. So the rumors going around all started on Reddit. It. I know you guys, such a place for accuracy. That's why I'm saying it's not confirmed. None of this is confirmed. The Try Guys haven't spoken out, but I feel like they're going to have to speak out now because it's literally trending on Twitter and it's all over my TikTok right now. And their entire comment section is people just begging for answers because the videos have been so weird lately. But Basically, a Reddit user claimed that they caught Ned kissing another woman. When asked for proof, the Reddit user dropped screenshots of an Instagram conversation that they had with someone where it looked like they had been sent a video of a man and a woman kissing. It said, hi, I was just wondering, blank was in New York City, because if so, I think there's something you should know, unfortunately. And he goes, yeah, she was, why? So basically I went out to Niagara, the club last night and saw her making out with Ned from the Try Guys. I have videos if needed. She was wearing a red dress. I don't know if that helps. Please send them to me, thanks. On it one sec and sent these videos and said, if you slow it down, you can see she's in the red. The Reddit user claimed they received this and said they also let Ned's wife, Ariel, know. But this is when things get weirder. Alex, who is in the photo from the Vegas buffet shoot, she is one half of the Foodie Babies duo. It's her and YB who do foodie videos together with the Try Guys. Her fiance apparently removed all photos with her and unfollowed her on social media and turned his account to private. YB, who is the other half of Food Babies, also unfollowed Alex and also unfollowed Ned, which has led to this wild theory that Ned cheated on his wife with Alex making this a greater deal since she works for the Try Guys. I will add that Ned's wife does still follow Alex, so this whole thing is just all speculation. The Try Guys also posted this week that they would be taking time off and just be posting once a week now, saying, we're going down to one video a week from now through the end of October, so we can focus on bringing great content to you for the holidays. Stay tuned. Like I said, I feel like with the conversation getting so big, they'll be forced to address the situation, but I just wonder why they went about things the way that they did, why he had to be cut out from the videos immediately, because it seems pretty obvious that something is going on. They're clearly cutting him out of videos, and if none of this other stuff is true, there's just got to be a reason as to why he's been edited out of multiple videos now. It's not just one video. Otherwise it would be like, oh, maybe he didn't like the way he looked or he didn't like how the footage turned out or the footage got lost or something like that. But for three videos to have people speculate that he was cut out is very interesting. And it definitely leaves people with a lot of questions. People have been commenting, even if it was cheating, like why was he actually like cut out from these videos? If there's something going on in his personal life and all that stuff, you'd think that they would just leave it in and just phase it out. And once they hit the point where they're posting videos where maybe he isn't showing up to video shoots, they can just say, well, Ned isn't here today. But cutting him out is very obvious to people and it leads to way more questions. And in regards to their podcast, usually when someone isn't there for their podcast, they just say, oh, blah, 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 isn't here today. But they haven't acknowledged his absence at all all. So fans have been pretty in the dark and feeling super weird about this whole thing. I honestly hope everyone is okay and that this isn't as bad as the internet has made it out to be, but they certainly need to answer to why things have been so weird in the editing. Even something as simple as we're handling an internal situation, love you guys, but saying nothing is definitely the weirdest part of all of this. But that's what's going on with the Try Guys. Still can't believe we're talking about them because I just, they're unproblematic, I thought but that's what's going on. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.